All right. This is Rick Van Dyke. He's helping me, Lee Forrester, play test uh, Panzer. What is it called? Panzer, Panzer battles. battles is Panzer still. battles. All right. What What are we doing, Rick? Well, we're uh, replaying the Battle of the Chur River. Eleventh uh, Panzer historically uh, ran what most people refer to today as the first mobile defense uh, operation. Um, they were getting ready to relieve Stalingrad when uh, the Soviet Army attacked in the Chur River area and uh, basically a spoiling attack which caused 11 Panzer to get committed to defending uh, that front. Um, the start of the battle, the uh, Soviets have a, a mobile force, uh, part of the first uh, tank army and uh, traditionally, or I'm sorry, not traditionally, but in real life, they drove down to State Farm 79. Uh, the attempt, attempt was to drive down here, and then they were going to turn back north and uh, roll up the flank on this side. Uh, what actually happened was they drove down to there, 11th Panzer came in, and pretty much annihilated them. Um, so what we've got going here is the opening moves of that uh, campaign. And uh, we can see the German front line uh, along here, uh, occupied mostly by infantry uh, divisions. We've got the Luftwaffe, Luftwaffe division here, kind of weak, but they're still there. Uh, and then some good infantry along this front that are pretty strong, actually. Not very mobile, but uh, pretty strong forces. And so what we're doing is uh, I've just started to move up. I've just moved up this uh, rifle division up into uh, to start to engage with the Luft, um, Luftwaffe units. Uh, I've got my mobile units just getting ready to roll. I just did a quick overrun here to bump this guy off a hill. Um, and then the other thing is, is I've got to take this city up here, which name I can't even begin to pronounce, but there it is. And uh, I've got to clear that of the uh, German forces that are there. And uh, there's where we are. So what are your impressions of the game so far? We've played this a number of times now. Yeah, we've played it several different times. Uh, the first couple of games were pretty tough on the Russians. Uh, we tried to do the historical assault down to State Farm and pretty much got annihilated, just like they do in the real, did in the real deal. So uh, we're trying some different things to make it a little more fun for the uh, Soviets so that they don't get crushed <laughs> in the first turn. <laughs> and uh, I think we're, we're finding some good balances here. Uh, trying to find that good, uh, nice balance so that both players have some fun with their mobile forces, get into a little bit of a slug match out there, and it's just not a complete disaster for one side or the other. So I think we're there. We're close, at least. And what are the Soviet objectives so far? Well, the Soviet objectives right now are to take uh, State Farm 79, just like we said, uh, and also this hill over here. Um, not exactly sure what strategic importance this hill is, other than it gives the uh, Soviet uh, forces something else to do besides just take that hill and, of course, clear the city out back here. That's just a slugfest. There's not much uh, German forces that are in there. They're, they're very weak for the attack, pretty strong for defense. So it's just a matter of rooting them out, slamming them with some artillery, DG them, maybe take a step, and then just root them out with some infantry attacks. It's just a brutal uh, little game up there. It's almost a separate game from the rest of the map because the uh, Chur River is impassable pretty much to everybody except for bridges, and there aren't a lot of them. Uh, there's a few around the city up here. There's a pretty long stretch here with no bridges, a couple more here, long stretch with no more, and there's a few more over here, but this is, again, the part of the map that usually doesn't get too, uh, too exciting. So not a lot of terrain, as you can see. Very little forest or, or wooded areas. The hills are kind of important in this game. They give uh, whoever occupies it. Uh, we're going to try this particular turn with a, a spotting cap capability around the hills, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, it gives a little bit more uh, fun for the artillery to be able to shoot uh, without having to be adjacent to an enemy unit. All right. Thanks, Rick. We'll keep you guys posted with uh, more updates as we have them.